this particular construction, we are given a side and two angles. Now the side that you are given is squeezed between the two angles. Notice how it has a point A is your vertex and on your line segment one of the end points is A. Mm -hmm. Point C is your vertex to your other angle and your vertex is C. So what we're going to start with is we need to start with a line segment that is AC. So draw your line to get our C your compass, not the ruler part. Come down here, mark your C. So our step one was to duplicate AC, segment AC. Step two is to duplicate angle A. Now, you may need to extend those lines a little bit so that you have a little bit, they're pretty small, and if you get your first arc very small, it's going to make the duplicating part difficult. So remember when we duplicate, Draw your first arc on your angle, and then you come down here to A and you draw that same arc. So this arc and this arc are the same. Now remember we set our compass to be set so the radius is the opening of that angle where that arc intersects. We used to call that BD when we were doing it before. So we have that. Remember we're going to come down where your arc intersects that line. And so that gives you your line segment that is going to form. So that angle is going to be congruent to this angle. I'm going to go ahead and mark this so that maybe when you're looking at it, this arc and this arc are the same. Now, what do you suppose step three is? Right, we need to duplicate angle C. So I'm going to extend this out just a little bit again. And we're going to make an arc matter how big for our arc 3, it's got to be centered at C. And now we come down here to C. And maybe a colored pencil would help so you can, or maybe you make this one dashed so you can kind of see which one you're dealing with here. That was my arc three. Now remember, I'm going to get my opening measurement of my angle C. That was close. This is my arc 4, 
where they cross, where your two lines cross, would be your B. So you have to do two duplications of two angles, and you draw those lines out, like that's where my arcs intersected, I draw that line out, do the same on the other. Now, what might be helpful to you is, we'll get some blank paper, is maybe AC is pretty narrow, so all those arcs are kind of coming over top of it. You may want to get, um, get a blank sheet of paper, make your AC a little longer so that you can get both your duplications so that they're not on top of one another. Does that make sense? Uh, so that's your process. You're going to go ahead, uh, we're going to run that one more time and then we're going to do page 15 and 16.